Now, I want to show you probably the coolest mod I've seen in a very long time. So, if you guys look very carefully, you're going to see something really small just running around and wrecking everything on the map. Anything, well, at least everything living on the red faction side. Yes, they're black and yellow. Yes, they're small. And yes, they're killing everything. There can really only be one conclusion as to what these are. Burnt bananas? No. They're killer bees. Look at these things. So they actually, like, cause an issue with the frame rate. But this is part of Omega's mod. It has to be one of the coolest mods that I've seen in a while because they are literally killer bees. Let's take a closer look. Now, there's multiple kinds. Oh, my God. So your arms and legs are, like, all kinds of Floppadopolis right here, man. They look like the banana taffy. And no one likes banana taffy. I don't think anyone really likes killer bees either. Whoa, what is a sticky bee? So the tribal faction is usually the first test subject here in our mod testing videos to see if they can overcome the power of the killer bees. Look at this mammoth, just absolutely rocked. And what we wanted to do was we got a lot of projectile units. Now, I'm not sure if throwing spears and throwing rocks is the best way to kill bugs. I mean, I used to use rocks to skip on the lake. I guess I didn't really use them to attack bugs. Oh my God. Look at this. I, I love the scene after it. Who would win a swarm of killer bees versus some Neanderthals with shields and clubs and a few spears too, because why not? Oh my god! It didn't even look like the shields did anything! Maybe the Romans could, you know, do something about it. They've got some pretty impressive shields. But you know what? Billy Bobby and Bobby Billy released this plague onto the world. It's only fair that they have to come up with what is to destroy the killer bee swarm. Now I figure hay balers have got to be a really good unit to combat them because they got pretty good armor. So they should be able to withstand a bunch of killer bees and not get stung. There's not too much of them in terms of surface area that is exposed to the bees. Now unfortunately we don't have a unit counter so I can't tell how many bees are still alive and how many bees are dead although I do know the bees won. Hey Boagrius, I got an idea. What's that, puppet? Well, you know the old saying, you can't hit what you can't see. Oh, that's smart. If we move fast, they can't hit us. You idiots. It's float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The bees is coming. Well, I have not a clue what they're talking about, but you know what? I figured if they're moving fast, it's going to make them harder to hit, right? At least in theory, but let's see how that theory actually does when it's put into practice using the scientific method of experimentation. Actually, it looks like they're doing pretty good. The bees, I don't know how they exactly work. Wait, let's let's zoom in with our HD 8X scope. Oh my god. These bees are just flopping around. Are they punching or are they, they running in with, with like kinetic force? I can't entirely tell. But it's funny to see guys throwing apples at bees. Oh yeah, I forgot that some of these guys are voiced by me. So it's like, <laughs> I recognize that voice. You hear that Billy Bobby Bobby Billy? It's me. I think the bees are winning. Now this actually seems like a good idea. Look at this. Hmm. What could eat a bee? A bird. Birds eat eat birds eat bees, right? Oh my god, what is happening here? Oh, okay. Float like a butterfly, not a bird. Hmm. It's the farmer's last chance. We're putting in harvesters, maybe with their giant size. But have you ever heard the phrase like it's like trying to hit a butterfly with a battle axe? Oh my god. Maybe that's what we gotta do. Oi, as you say, battle axe. How come he doesn't speak like a Viking and talk like a like a pirate? Why do I sound like I'm from Romania? <laughs> well, let's test this whole battle axe versus bumblebees or butterflies to see just oh my god they're leaping at him oh my gosh he's flying in the air and they get hit by the bees but you know what oh my god it looks like they're fighting each other honestly because the bees are so small they move so fast and look at that there's the perfect scene of a killer swarm oh my god the Jarl here, I didn't even think he had to do anything, but like, I figured the Vikings would be good because they've got axes and shields. So, oh, one of them was literally just picked up and thrown around. Someone could make a mod like this with nanobots. We, it, they could be part of the robot, like, faction. Look at these guys with their bats. <laughs> this is the funniest scene I think I've ever seen in a tabs battle. Because <laughs> they're so small and they move so fast. And everybody's so dumb and doesn't know how to fight them. Well, I'm the one strate strategizing for them. Wait just a second. 
They fly. So do we! Alright, so the Vikings are bringing out the fabled Valkyries, the screaming shield maidens who apparently have wings and can fly, and they bring about death and destruction from high above. And here, they're gonna have to fight B, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. Actually, now that you think about it, I bet those bees are just modded Valkyries. Maybe that's what it is. So Valkyries first. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's just <laughs> You don't want to be flying up in the air if you're one bird versus 100 bees. So the Romans were really smart. They came up with a lot of things like aqueducts and the testudo formation. Can the testudo formation here do anything to stop a swarm of killer bees? It doesn't really look like it. And I mean, if you look at it from a distance, you would think that these shield guys- Oh my god! They're already dead! They're already freaking dead! Come on, Rome. Animals to combat other animals isn't a bad idea, so the Greeks here, including this poor 12-year-old child. I'm sorry, little Timmy. You probably couldn't get stung to death today, Timmy. But let's see snakes. Oh my god, look at snakes. The snakes, oh, actually, kind of. Oh my god, they just turn into like ferocious, poisonous leopard snakes. I don't know, man. I don't know my snakes. I just know if I see one, I don't go pet it. I figure that's just science after all, right? So, killer bees versus snakes. The bees don't have to fight the snakes, so they can actually be pretty elusive versus them. And now these poor snake archers in the back here, including- Oh god, little Timmy! Little Timmy, I told you! Get off the battlefield, boy! He- he gone. He gone. And so is everybody else. And there is the death dab of failure. I look like I ate too much sugar for breakfast! Now, I'm doing this just to see because I think it's hilarious. Although ballistas take a while to sh charge up their shot, I wanted to see ballistas try to hit these Steeny little bees. Maybe we need to put them further back. I think you're right. All right, little bees. Expect a lot of incoming anti-aircraft fire. Like, can you imagine auto cannons? Like, oh my god, that sounded like it was right in my ear. Well, I guess it kind of was in a way. So let's see. Come on, I really want to see these ballistas. But we also like they move so fast. There we go. One spear went out. I don't think I don't think there's anything that's small enough to hit. Oh god. There's so much friendly fire going on. It may have hit a few of them. Look at this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So, if you could have like rapid fire, like machine gun speed. Oh, oh god, here comes the, here comes the horde. The swarm of bees, and now they're just friendly fire everywhere. The bees are so small and fast, man. Friendly fire is definitely the operative words of the day, because that is like the best indirect tactic that they have. <laughs> Look at this. Is the ballistas are killing themselves. There's only probably like eight bees left, maybe six? I don't know, man. There's not a lot. When they do get hit, they're probably insta-dead, but like, what's the probability of actually hitting them? Right? Okay. We need to try something different. We need something better to fight them. Something more honorable. Sir, did you break your neck? And with far more firepower, bringing you Hawacha City. Oh, did we put them too far back? Oh my god, what are you- Well, that was- That didn't look like that's working too well. But here we go. Bees versus Hawacha. I don't see any bees get- no, I don't ri I mean, are you seeing it? It looks like that guy was actually climbing an arrow. Oh, one of the bees fell down the pit! I wonder how long there's actually a lot more bees, like, falling down the pit, which seems kind of funny, that- given that they fly. <laughs> they- I don't know, man. I don't think they can really be beat. Hawatches don't even seem to do it, but we need a better field battle. Alright, the Dynasty faction really brought their A-game today. We've got ninjas throwing shuriken. Oh, maybe one of the secret units. Maybe the sensei who can fire a ton. Look at this. I just- I just can't believe that they're able to dodge all of these. Not once do we see a bee with an arrow stuck to him. Are they just too elusive? Are they too fast? Are they able to, like, fly in between? Hold on. This guy looks like he was hit. He's flying backwards, but look at his- his boots <laughs> slash his wings. Okay, I don't think- Oh my god, we have arrows covering, like, most of the trees in the background. Uh... Ninjas are doing their best. Watch who's firing in the air. I, I just... There's just nothing out here that can stop these things. Alright, the sensei, who kind of looks like Shredder from the Ninja Turtles, in my opinion, is out here leading a couple of firework archers who... I don't know, they're, they're so lit right now. And then we got ninjas in the front. So I feel like all the shuriken, 
And then all the arrows? Are there any of these arrows hitting? Nothing can kill these things, man. I don't think ranged fire is the answer. We need to find the best melee warriors and pit them against the bees. Maybe we're going, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I take it all back. Ninjas are the best. All right, let's see this in slow motion. Oh, that guy just got hit by two shuriken. Is he dead? He kind of looks like he's falling to the ground. Are, do they get weighed down? I don't, do they, how does it work? How does it work? How do they, how, how does it work? Whoa, we have something called a hive queen. 16 secret units, all of them, every single one. Versus about, oh, I don't know, I would say 70 killer bees. Now, how does the flamethrower work? If they get in front of it, do they die? That one just got rolled over. Oh, bees to the face! That guy didn't last too long. Vlad the Impaler with a giant tree stump that's sharpened like a big toothpick. So I guess pick the tree giant's teeth after he's had enough tacos to fill his belly. Look, the giant is headbutting people. What is he doing? He looks like he's flying himself. He's just Superman. Wait a Hold the phone! Are the bees picking him up and launching him? What? What is- I've never seen this before. I don't know what it is. We got Artemis out there and we've got Sensei too. I think that the secret units are pretty dang good and they're clear- Oh my gosh. Artemis is like- This guy's- The ice giant is getting picked up by the bees, man. I don't know how or why. I guess- these bees are stronger than we think, man. <laughs> this is hilarious. Now Artemis is starting to find her mark here. There's what? Look at this. Look at this. A mix of shuriken and arrows, and somehow maybe they have a lifespan? I don't know. From this angle, he looks like a really unique kind of spearman, or maybe even a pole vaulter, which would be funny for an Olympics faction. Nope, it's just the fan bearer. So this is two queen bees worth 34,000. Oh my gosh. They're spawning in more bees. Oh god. Oh my gosh. I wish we had the summoner. I want to put the summoner against the hive queen bee to see who would be victorious because look at how many freaking bees are coming. Given how difficult and elusive and tricksy the bees are, I don't know. I don't know if the summoner could compete. You know we had to do it. Black Widow, Iron Man, Thor, Hawkeye, Hulk. Oh yeah, Cap, I'm sorry, dude. You, you just kind of look like Thor with the X. Y you know what I'm talking about. And Thor versus the Killer Bees here. Whoa! Iron Man's got some pretty cool abilities there. I don't know if that's hitting any bees. Oh my gosh, they're hitting Hulk. Hulk, Hulk looks like he's about to go nuclear and explode and just create the biggest mushroom cloud the world has ever seen here. But instead, I guess he's just gonna endure the pain and keep fighting the good fight, trying to save humanity from Killer Bees. Cause that is, I mean, Think about this. No one's ever been like, hey, killer bees have invaded Earth. We gotta call the Avengers to save us. I don't even know how the Avengers would deal with it. I guess like this, right? With crazy abilities, lightning bolts, and Hulk just getting stung so much, he probably would swell up to twice his size. And if he could survive that, I tell you what. It looks like the Avengers were victorious. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.